Welcome to Satish Peaks channel. In our day to day life, we take a lot of financial decisions, isn't it? Should we buy this product? Should we skip this product? Should we see some alternatives for this product? Should we invest? Where should we invest? Mutual fund liquidities? How much should we save? This month have we shaved enough? Lot of financial decisions we do, but have you ever given a thought that from where we are actually making these decisions? We make all these decisions from our money personality. There are five money personalities I can explain in this video. Once you understand these five personalities, you can do an evaluation on yourself where you actually fit into these five personalities. I am Satish, financial consultant and author of this book called Untold Wealth Secrets. If you require any advisory recommendation on mutual fund, equity or PMS, my WhatsApp number is there. You can connect with me. And if you are watching this video, please do click the like button because the chances of this video reaching multiple people are very high when you click the like button. When it comes to money management and multiplying your money, physical strategies are important, but only the physical strategies will never create a sustainable wealth for you. If you wanted to create a sustainable wealth, pass it on to your next generation. Money mindset is also important equally to the physical strategies of money, where to invest with the products. So in this video, five personalities I'm going to introduce to you. The first personality, which is super saver. This personality will save money endlessly, tirelessly. This particular profile of the person is very frugal whenever it comes to the activity of any money. They always don't spend anything, they save. But saving is good, but this particular personality save without any specific goal. That is actually the bad thing about this particular profile. They don't have any specific goals. They don't have any specific dreams. If you ask them, why are you saving so much money? They can't explain because they are super scared about the money. They always feel that money can give you the complete security, not a freedom, but security. They keep the money in safer in their vault or they keep the money in banks. They hardly they invest their money. They don't take that decision of investments also because they feel investment is also very risky. The bad thing about this particular profile is that they don't even enjoy the money what they are saving for themselves. They almost leave the entire money in the bank when they actually leave this place. That's the bad thing about this saver. The second one is the entirely opposite to the saver, which is a super spender. They spend on spontaneous thing. They spend on intuition. So whatever they like, they feel, they go, they purchase. Not even from their own money, even on debt also they will purchase. Purchasing is not, of course, not a bad thing. But what makes them bad is that after making a decision, they come back home and they will have something called bias remorse, which is they will evaluate the decision only after making the purchase. Okay, my God, I brought this particular thing, whether it is good or not. Oh my God, should I actually skip this purchase? I should not have brought this purchase. They have so many things in and around them, which is unutilized. I would like to recall a famous quote from Mr. Warren Buffett. If you spend for the things which is unnecessary, you have to sell things which is necessary in your life. When actually think about this self, uh, marriage conflicts often happens when a saver spend a spender. You know how a saver think about the spender? Spender is always a reckless person. So he does not care about money. He does not care about his own life. He does not giving enough secure, secure feel for the family. You know how a spender think about a saver? Oh my God, he is such a boring person. He don't even enjoy the money what they have in their life what they are going to do with the money. So there the particular conflict happens. The money conflict often happens in the family. So the third personality, which is the money machine. The only goal for this kind of personality is to make more money. They actually crave for recognitions. They want, they wanted to showcase their, the, the money power, the success to everyone in the society. They work tirelessly to create more and more and more money. And they also never enjoy the money what they create during their lifetime. If you look at 
give a close look about this particular personality they will have relationship problems they will have health related problems because they put only making money or creating money than everything else in their life family secondary relationship secondary friends secondary money is important for them so if you take away the money from them i think that they, their life is actually gone they have so much of attachment with the money so that's the third personality the fourth personality which is opposite to money machine which they are called ignorant they don't even look at their credit card statement they don't even look at their portfolios they don't even look at the statements they always give a philosophy that money is bad for society money is evil because of the money there are so many bad things are happening and if you give a closer look at this kind of personality you can observe them they will never be rich and successful in the society they will never have a, a abundance in their life they will never have a good amount of wealth in their life they are so ignorant and they, they will give so much of philosophies to others about money fifth kind of personality which is money monk if you ask me which kind of personality is best to create a sustainable wealth for our lifetime means the fifth kind of personality which is money monk a little bit of everything because no personality is a right personality a little bit of everything you should be a saver some amount of the money you should be saving in your initial part of your life you should be a spender also because compromising the current life you should not be saving for future you should strike a balance between enjoy the current life as well as save for the future as well so no point in saving future compromising the current life at the same time no point in spending everything you are not saving anything for the future so it should be a balanced you should be a little bit of saver a little bit of a spender little bit of a money machine now, of course money is important because money is not everything in life but without money you cannot solve problems in your life and fourth and finally ignorant is also important in life you should not have the complete attachment of money sometimes the money comes and it goes life slap happens in life shit happens in life where at that particular time you should have a detachment with the money and the ignorant personality comes and helps you so little bit of everything is what important in life and i personally feel that money mindset is definitely important along with the physical strategies of money management you can invest in mutual funds you can invest in equities you can create an excellent portfolio unless and until you have the right mindset for the money the vision for the money the goal for the money you can't create a sustainable wealth for your life so i am satish financial consultant and author of this book called untold wealth secrets if you need any recommendation on mutual funds equity or pms my whatsapp number is there you can connect with me and if you want to join my free whatsapp group that link is also there please do join happy to on board you and if you are watching this video if you enjoy the content please do click the like button because when you click the like button the chances of this video reaching multiple people are very high please do click the like button and subscribe to my channel stay tuned because i am going to give many more informative videos about money management investment strategies let it be mutual fund personal finance equity and money mindset i'll see you with another interesting video stay tuned bye bye